your privacy guide to tech-assisted contact tracing. We've got Apple and Google, two tech rivals, teaming up in a massive project to help deliver contact tracing. Because they're collaborating and because they have a duopoly on smartphones, over time, they're gonna be able to get this technology to almost every smartphone user in America. Technology tools are being touted by some as a way to help improve contact tracing so the world can open during this pandemic. But what is contact tracing? Traditional contact tracing is a public health technique that identifies other people a sick person may have exposed to their illness. This is normally accomplished with phone calls and interviews. But some newly proposed systems would add proximity detection to the mix, using mobile phones' Bluetooth data to deliver alerts about potential exposures. Experts don't know if these tools will work. And even if they do, we first need to address the fact that many people in America still can't afford a phone, and that people, especially people of color, lack access to adequate testing or healthcare. So before we all start downloading tracing apps, here's the must-have checklist for any tech that we adopt. The government and private companies developing software need to make sure it's voluntary for users at every step. Not everyone carries a phone or uses Bluetooth, and not everyone should have to. If someone is told of an exposure, then whether and how they react needs to be voluntary. For example, governments need to make clear that using an app is not a condition for housing or a job. It should be voluntary. The app should not be used for anything other than public health, so it should not be used to fight crime or conduct immigration enforcement or even force a quarantine. The tech is only useful if people actually use it, so the government and tech companies need to establish trust from the outset. Again, trust is key. The government and private companies need to take every measure to ensure people's personal information is not vulnerable. So, data should stay local to the user when possible. The collection of data that is hard to anonymize, like location data, should be avoided. Whatever data is collected should not go through central authorities. The data should stay on the device so that users still control it. And importantly, there needs to be an exit strategy. If the pandemic is declared over or the tech isn't effective, then the app needs to have an off switch. And the off switch needs to be built in and public to avoid any surveillance creep. All these considerations need to be taken into account for the public to trust and use these technologies.